Stonehenge and the shrine at Lord's Our no tipping signs greet the swarming hordes We've filled next door's wheelie bin to the top But we keep finding more, it never stops Our outhouse is really starting to reek And dustman's not due round here while next week There's no tells for it, get out and lob it But don't get spotted or you'll really cop it Litter buggery finds are steep these days Where there's muck there's brass but grime never pays What's your feelings on litter in the Manchester area today? It's dreadful. You know, just the smell of Manchester's not very nice. You know, you can walk down certain streets, especially up Piccadilly, and um, just, just, just sick, the smell of, like, you know, all the cafes and boxes of rubbish just outside. So I think, you know, I think Manchester's a lovely city, and I've lived here for years, but um, the litter's just something you can't ignore. We provide more bins, but a lot of people just don't take any notice anyway. They throw out cars, throw it on the floor. Yeah. It's people's attitudes that need changing more than actually use of more litter bins. They have an attitude of other people do it, so why shouldn't I, you know, my bit won't help, whereas it actually does. If everybody felt like that, then it would solve the problem. I mean, you've got bins, but they, they won't put it in. I mean, what can you do? If there's a bin about, I put it in a bin, you know, if there's no bin bins carry about. Back. Yeah, then obviously you can't put it in a bin if there's no bins about. The council is doing all it could. To, uh, to solve the problem. But I think unless the people themselves are conscious of the problem, nothing could be done. How do you feel about the litter problem today in Manchester? Disgraceful. And uh, what do you think we should do about the litter? Organise everybody and clean it all up like they do on the continent. Yeah. You come on a Monday morning, it's just like a tip. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, do you think you could actually introduce anything like spot fines or litter patrol wardens could actually deal with that kind of thing? They'd never be out of business on here, would they? I'll tell you what they could do. These aren't dull, they could get them and clear them up. So. I think people should put their litter in bins. I do. If I've, got, if I've finished, if I get a clip, I always keep it in the pocket and then when I have to clean it. So, I mean, I never throw it, I just don't do it. Well, there's a lot of packies, right? It, I mean, some of it's clean, but where there's a lot of packies, it's really, really, really bad with litter. It's, they seem to have not, not much respect, do you know what I mean? For it, that's what it is, really. It's Cheetah Mill, do you know what I mean? I'm from. So there's a lot, a lot of Pakistanis, and that's why it's dirty up there, which it is, do you know what I mean? Nope. Well, generally, the litter problem in Manchester is dreadful. Especially in, not too much in the main town, but in the sort of uh, residential areas and the outside, Longside particularly, is disgusting. When the wind was blowing and you're driving along the street, then all the litter would like come up in front of the windscreen and it was just dreadful. The problem of litter on our streets is everyone's. It does not belong to any particular social, economic or cultural group. Manchester City Council has invested approximately six million for the clearance of litter. Of this amount, very little has been allocated to education. According to council sources, more emphasis has been placed on enforcement by litter wardens. But how can this be effective? Surely education is the key to solving our litter problem. What do you think about the litter problem today? It's hard to know, it's hard to say.